Hello, this is Alex Kolskov and welcome back to Atel Studio. Today I'll show you the product shot. It's not a usual product. It's actually it's an art. A tabletop lamp. This is a unique lamp and uh, it's designer's uh, actually art, it's not just a lamp. Uh, and uh, our idea is to shoot it the way to show its uniqueness and uh, to show uh, the beauty of its shape. You see, it's, I would love to have such a lamp on my table. So, I'll show you the setup, the lighting setup. First, we did a uh, kind of, I call it regular uh, product shot on a white uh, seamless uh, background on the shooting table. You've seen uh, how we shoot this lamp on a white uh, table, on a shooting table. Uh, this is what uh, the customer uh, wants us to do. But I am always uh, like to go beyond this. Uh, I would like to shoot uh, a little bit unusual way if uh, the product deserves it. So, I'll show you how we did the shot for, for this lamp. Now the setup. Because I would like to have this lamp more creative way, the main light source is under under the bottom. That's why we have the glass table. And uh, on the bottom I have uh, 
beauty dish with uh, a huge honeycomb grid. It's uh, 30 degree. Yes, it's 30 degree. And in this grid. This is our main light. You see the shape of the lamp. When we will have something on all of light from the bottom, it will make very, very nice uh, highlights on the body of the lamp. And uh, the second light is on the side. This is not even a fill light. I need this light only to get this very nice tiny reflection on the this metal cap and here. So this light will be on the lowest power level, lowest possible power level for uh, for white lighting X1600. Two more lights on that side. Background light. It's 20 degree honeycomb grid on white lighting uh, 1600, and it will be creating that nice spot exactly over here. So when you when I shoot from the camera, the spot will be like this creating some like glow starting from the table and one more light it's a hair light because I need to get separation from the ground so it, it should supposed to uh, get some nice light edge here, here and here from that light. Now the challenge. You see, the lamp is on. Actually, it's a LED LED uh, lamp head. It's very nice. It has hundreds of LEDs, and we need to capture it somehow. If you just shoot it, uh, one of hundred or two hundred fifty second uh, f ten, it will be. Like this, we won't see anything because uh, the power of LEDs is too weak comparing to studio light. So, there are two solutions. Shoot two exposures, one to get a lamp, lamp body with all these flashes and second exposures to turn all studio lights off and get only the head light. This is the first way. The second way is simpler when you know how. We can have only one exposure to get all done in one shot. Flash, all strobes should be no, uh, shouldn't have any uh, modeling light and studio should be completely dark. Then I'll set shutter speed to be whatever required to get this exposure correctly. I would say it will be probably around maybe like tenths of second. And boom, we'll get flash, short duration flash which will highlight the body and everything. That's probably like one of thousand second. And the rest time in completely dark studio, camera will capture light from the LEDs. I'll show you when I start shooting. It works very nice. Okay, now we can start shooting and see what we got. Okay, starting to shoot. Adobe Lightroom 3 